Okay, hello everyone. So, um, yeah, the reason why I'm recording. The reason why I'm recording is because um, I want to document my life. Uh, okay, not really document my life, more of document my journey uh, by taking in an Iron Man. Okay, not really an Iron Man, but more of a half Iron Man. Okay, so a bit backstory about myself. So, I personally have not done an Ironman or any endurance activity in my entire life. Uh, but I have been very passionate about uh, weightlifting, lifting weights, but basically keeping a healthy a he healthy lifestyle. Okay. So I when I so for for those of you who are watching for who are not from Singapore, uh in Singapore it's mandatory for all uh all men or able-bodied men to serve national service and after after I completed my service I was um, I was actually hooked on to doing a lot of like endurance type activities so right after I finished my service I I actually signed up for a marathon um, with, with a couple of my friends um, but during that period I kind of got injured as well so I the, the, the marathon didn't go through in the end yeah during that period I was a bit reflective, trying to see what other activities I can do, um, because I honestly I really enjoy, uh, but uh, taking part in endurance activities, especially uh, right after the army, um, and I don't know, I don't know what went uh, went through my mind, but uh, I decided to sign up for uh, a half Ironman, which was in Vietnam, yeah, but so I was training for about December till. In April, right? But then, uh, it didn't it didn't go through in the end because of the Rony Rona. Yeah, so uh, the ticket that I had, right, it was postponed to next year, twenty twenty one, the same month, which is in May. Um. Yeah, so. I currently have a ticket, and I'm not sure whether I should go or not. So the reasons, the reason why I'm. I was a bit hesitant at first on going for next year's Ironman would be because firstly uh, I just started university and then I'm I'm a bit hesitant that I won't be able to balance both my schoolwork as well as uh, Ironman training but then after reflecting about it uh, this couple of weeks what I realized is that um, the more time you have uh, the more time you are prone to procrastinating and wasting so uh, I decided to just uh, to go for it uh, basically and as a wise man once said just go only okay okay the next thing the next reason why I'm hesitant on going for an Ironman next year would be because I don't want to go alone um, last year, a couple of my friends, we signed up together, but then most of them aren't keen on going next year. And some of them are, one of them went overseas. Lah. So, yeah, I don't really want to go alone because uh, not really very fun. Lah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I think the first problem, I kind of solved it already, I told you. Yeah, like, I'll just go only. I think naturally, uh, when the time comes, you will naturally rise up to the challenge. Uh, just manage your time well, and and whatnot lah. You just have to sacrifice uh, your time elsewhere in order to make time for training and whatnot. I think everything will go fine. Okay, so the next problem is finding someone else to go with me. So, recently, what happened was that I asked my one of my best friends, his name is Ryan, to partake in an Ironman, partake in this Ironman with me. So a bit backstory about me and him. So me and him go way back. We were friends in secondary school. We've been lifting for, okay, not lifting. Okay, like lifting. Okay, we, we we met in secondary two, and I think this friendship lasted this long because we 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 have a common ground. We've been uh, hitting the gym together for uh, a few years now. Yeah. So when I asked him about it, this was his response to me. Okay, I quote him again. This is what he said. I thought about Iron Man as I was training just now. So he was at the gym and he messaged me this. After thinking long and hard, I realized I can't do it. You see, I am a humanitarian, a philanthropist. I bring joy to people. When people feel my arm, 
their week is made, they squeal for, do for joy. This is my calling. It's my burden. I have to go down this route. Let's travel. Okay. So, my friend Ryan over here, he is, uh, he's a bit eccentric. Okay. So, he, he, he's quite a big guy. So, the reason why he doesn't want to go is because he feels that if he goes for an Ironman, he'll lose all his muscle mass. Uh, and he just doesn't want that. Lah. So, today, my mission is to persuade him into going uh, for this half Ironman with me. Um, and this will be today's episode. Lah. So, I'm meeting him later on. We'll be going to the zoo. Okay. Wish me luck. So, today is the 19th of December. So, one I, I, I filmed the first video yesterday. Just to update you all on what happened. So, after much persuasion, uh, he finally said yes. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it like, for today. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna... Uh, um, so from this point onwards till uh, 9th of May, which is the day of the half Ironman. Okay, so a bit more information on Ironman. We'll be taking part in the 70.3 uh, Ironman in Danang. Uh, yeah, the reason why we, I, I chose that course in the first place was because um, I felt that it was from December all the way till May, there would be sufficient time for us to train. Um, and it's within uh, the Asian region. Lah. So it'll be, uh, it, won't, it won't be too expensive on our part. Um, so from here on out, the next step would be to handle all the logistics. So Ryan doesn't have a road bike yet, so we have to go find a road bike. All the equipment, like the helmet and whatnot. Uh, that's pretty much it. Lah. Yeah, but another, another problem that I foresaw was that um, if, if, if by May flights are still not available, then we might have to postpone this challenge or, or perhaps go for another Ironman instead. But that's pretty much it for today. Hello, 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 it's me again. So today is the 21st of December. Last I updated you was, I think 19 of December. So today I'm here joined with my good friend, the Mr. Buffalo over here, Brian Boa. Uh, so today our mission is going to be finding uh, equipment that we will need for Ironman. So equipment such as our socks, our shorts, and possibly even our shirts. Uh, Anything else we need? For me, I think the shorts would just be for everyday, everyday sports. <laughs> it's an all-in-one bro. My school uniform, my... Yeah, like basically everything. Like. Okay, so... And I got no credit, so all this will be cash. So, uh, the best place for all of this would be none other than... Chevron. We're live. Hello, hello, it's me again. Okay, so we just got back from our shopping in Emart. Now we'll just update you what we got. So I got three shorts. Uh, these are for, for running, uh, not, not so much for swimming. I think I'll get my swimming gear another time. What do you got, Jeremiah? Okay, for me, I was feeling a bit adventurous. So I got many different things that I would like to uh, try on for this Iron Man. So the first thing that I got, I got Air Force shorts. Next thing I got was another pair of Air Force shorts. Third thing I got was wow, another pair of shorts. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. We'll be updating y'all uh, soon, lah.